Good morning everyone! This is going to be a day in the life of a luxury picnic planner. I quite literally just woke up and I'm excited to take you guys on my day. I made myself a Central Coast Picnic's work uniform shirt last year, and so this is me trying to find it. And I'm embarrassed to say this is what my room looks like right now, but it's because of the picnics, I promise. So usually I don't do my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. When I have events, I try to just to look a little bit more presentable. I am a big advocate for if you feel good, you do good. So I do like to take care of myself when it comes to fitness and eating healthy and taking care of my skin. And this is a friendly reminder to anyone who is self-conscious about their skin. It's okay, not everyone has perfect skin. This morning when I was trying to put in my contacts, when I was doing the other eye, it kept falling out. So that's what you see here. It was really annoying, but I finally got it to stay. My morning skincare routine consists of using the Ordinary Blemish Serum, which I have found very helpful for my scars. And as you can see, I'm just very tired and trying to get myself to wake up. Next, I use the Olay Sunscreen and Lotion Mix with SPF 15. After that, I like to go in with the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, which has SPF 45 and very light coverage. If I'm feeling extra spicy, I will use the Too Faced Medium Coverage Foundation. I don't have a beauty blender, so I kind of just smack it on my face. I never do my eyebrows, but I do brush them with gel, and then this is a light blush for the top of my cheeks. If I have any guys watching at this point, I've probably lost you, but if you are a female, you know the struggle of getting that mascara on perfectly. I've been on a hair health kick lately, so when I wake up, I go ahead and put some oil on the ends and I do the same thing when I go to bed along with putting scalp serum on my roots. I usually use a claw clip for my hair but I couldn't find it so I went with a braid today. I struggle with a lot of anxiety so this breath is me just trying to calm my nerves. At this point in the morning, I've finished getting myself ready and it's time to start preparing the picnic. I always like to get the majority of my supplies in my car the night before so it's less stressful the day of. As you can see here, I'm just putting the drinks in the cooler and later on I'll go ahead and put the pillows in my car. I think it's funny because I have a lot of clients ask if I provide alcohol. My answer is always no and I tell them it's because I'm not permitted to do so but the real answer is I'm 20 years old and I can't buy it in the first place. When I watched this clip back, it truly made me laugh because I was really struggling to lift that thing up and get it into my car. I don't think people realize how heavy all of this supplies is and how strong you have to be to set up the events. My car felt so heavy while I was driving it today and I used about two gallons more gas because of all the supplies in my car. You guys probably don't know this, but I'm very proud of my car because I did buy it all on my own without my parents' help. Okay guys, at this point, my car is completely packed. There's absolutely no space anywhere i don't even think i'll be able to see out of my mirror but that's fine i am on my way to go and pick up the charcuterie box and then we will see you at the beach so we made it to the beach we have all of our supplies here and i'm now going to start setting it all up Hi guys, this is Claire. Claire helped me today. But as you can see here, we have some charcuterie that we're cleaning up. And then we also have the rest of the tables, which we now have to bring all back to my car. Sorry to disappoint, but what happened was our clients got here about 30 minutes early. So I did not have time to take proper pictures and videos of our setup but it's fine. We have now been able to bring everything back up to my car. Now it's time for me to pack it all back in and get home and shower and then wash everything. So I left my house at 9.50 in the morning. Now it is six o'clock in the afternoon and I will get home around seven o'clock. So that was a long day. At least I did have my assistant Claire to help me out. But as you can see, my car is fully packed and I really can't see anything. So let's hope I get home safe. I'm officially exhausted. My hair is a mess. My contacts wanting to fall out of my eyes because my eyes are dry. Anyway, this is what I look like after a picnic. Super cute. I'm gonna go eat dinner and shower and then I'll say goodnight to everyone. 
So I'm getting ready to shower, but if you're someone who is trying to wash their hair less, get one of these for when you shower because I have really curly hair and this keeps the water from messing up my hairline and keeping everything nice and dry. So I look quite silly, but it's okay. tell I really like the color pink so as much as I would like to say that I'm a good cook I'm not I know how to survive off of food but I don't know how to cook here is my dinner today we have some turkey and we have some naked juice I'm not saying that this is the healthiest dinner in the world but I will say I don't mind having turkey for dinner I do quite like turkey I know these are a little expensive, but if you think about it, people easily spend five to six dollars on a Starbucks coffee and seven dollars on a Jamba Juice, so technically it's not that bad. I was craving something sweet, so I did about half a cup of cinnamon crunch toast and about a cup of dry oats. I know this sounds crazy, but something my dad used to have us do and it's kind of stuck with me. My parents were very health conscious with me as a kid growing up, which I used to hate, but now as an adult, I think I appreciate it a little bit more. It might look a little funky, but it does taste good. Hey guys, it is now nine o'clock at night. I have come home, I showered, I ate dinner. I didn't put anything away. Usually when I have big events, it's just too much on my body <laughs> to clean and put everything away once I get home. So I am going to go to sleep now and wake up in the morning to clean up and do it all over again. If you guys enjoyed, you can go ahead and give my channel a follow. And with that, good night.